Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Right from the moment we were born, people would look at us, especially family members, would look at us and try to diagnose who we resemble. Do I resemble uh, my father's side or do I resemble my mother's side? And as we grew up, we adopted certain habits, certain characteristics, certain mannerisms and then they would say, oh, this is like father, like son or, or like mother, like daughter. And there's something very interesting, especially when it comes to certain negative characteristics you will find both the families having conflict of opinions because when the child has a negative mannerism, the father's side will say, oh, this child is exactly like the mother's side. And you will have the mother's side, oh, he has inherited this from the father. So is it really true that our mannerisms, our behavior patterns are also controlled by our genes? Well, not really. But psychology presents something very interesting called primary imprinting. Now, this is one of the opinions in psychology. So, according to this theory of primary imprinting, it says every child undergoes something called primary imprinting. So, what does this mean? Now, it says that the primary caregivers, now for most of us, it is our parents or sometimes it could be grandparents or whoever took care of us in the first few years of our life, the primary caregivers, the image we have of them affects the way we behave. So suppose I have an image of a very loving parent, say my parents were extremely loving, I grow up to be a very confident and a positive person. Now suppose I was not so blessed and I had a very negative experience with my caregiver, this memory affects the way I behave, whether I like it or not. Now, here is where, no matter what psychology concludes about all this, here is where we have a God who steps in. A God who says, you and I are free persons. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And God says that when our parents fail us, he steps in. We don't have to be worried. We are not bound to repeat the mistakes or suffer the mistakes of our parents or our caregivers. And that is why, you see, God constantly assuring us that he is our parent. You see, in Psalm 27, 10, he says, even if your father lets you down, I will raise you up. And Isaiah 49, 15 even if your mother forgets you, I can never forget you. This was in fact the mission of Jesus. Jesus came to the world to reveal to us the love of God. John 3, 16, God so loved the world, he sent his only son. So Jesus was the expression of the love of the heavenly father. And why is God expressing his love not because he requires us, he wants us to have a good image of him. He's not doing a PR work. But God is revealing his love, not at all for himself, but for you and me, for our survival, for our happiness, and for our performance in life. Your performance and my performance in our lives depends on the way we conceive our God. What is the image I have of my God? Jesus points out that the key to success is in this, in that beautiful parable of the talents. We have this man who has five talents and he turns out to be super successful, not because of the extra four talents that he had, but when he received those five talents, he was so confident of the goodwill of his master. And in that confidence, he was able to go out and invest boldly and invest wisely. And he came out as a winner. 
getting so much more than what he invested. And then you have the person who got the single talent. Now, he was a real loser, not because he got four talents less than the other man, but because he had a very negative image of his master. He saw his master, as he would say in the parable, he would tell the master, you are a hard man. You reap where you do not sow. He saw his boss as a hard, exacting man. And here is where he was filled with fear. He had no confidence in himself. He had no confidence in life. He goes and hides his talent and ultimately loses his talent. Dear friends, you and I, we have a wide, a wide variety of talents. But what really matters is whether we are able to cherish the love behind those talents. Today is a day when we need to start thanking God for the talents we have. Thanking God for the people God has brought into our life, into the circumstances, the situations, every aspect of our life is a talent God has given us. And behind every talent, we need to cherish the love of our God. When we cherish the love of our God, we will grow in a confidence that makes our life a fruitful, a successful life. And people would look at us and say that we are living a life that is worth living. Dear friends, as we listen to this message, may we begin to cherish the spirituality of the talents. May we begin to cherish the love of our Father. May we begin to cherish ourselves as children who are loved, who are talented, who have a mission to bless. A lady one day walked into a shop which had a board outside which said, everything that your heart desires is available in this shop. The lady who was so curious went inside and spoke to the shopkeeper. It is written outside that you sell everything that the heart desires. So here is what I want you to give me. Can you please give me some peace of mind, a little bit of love in my heart and some joy in my family? And to that, the shopkeeper smiled and said to the lady, I am happy to know the desires of your heart. But just note this one thing, madam. In this shop, we only sell the seeds and not the fruits. This is the logic of our Christian life as well. God has given all of us the seeds of good things. But the fruits would be given only if we sow these seeds in the proper places. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. Jesus narrates the parable of the talents. Jesus speaks of how different people are given different measures of talents. The ones who had more went and invested those talents and they would come back with the fruits. But this one particular man who had only one talent would bury that talent not make use of it and would come back empty-handed to the master. As Christians, as people of God, all of us are given various talents. The seeds of goodness have been given to all of us. What is needed and expected of all of us is that we should go out and sow these seeds in order to receive the fruits of life. We need to invest these seeds in the proper places, in the proper situations, so that we can reap together the harvest of God's love and grace in our life. Very often, we as Christians tend to waste our life in laziness. We are sometimes afraid of what God will feel if I do this or that. We are afraid to have an optimistic view of life. And because of that, we hide away our talents. We don't sow the seeds that have been given to us. And we must know the end that happened to this man 
of the parable of the talents. The master would reprimand him, punish him and take away what he had and give to the one who had more. When we don't do and fulfill the duties and responsibilities given to us, we would have a hard end to our life. Each of us are gifted with the seeds of goodness in our life. Let's go forth to harvest and sow these seeds so that we can receive the fruits of God's love in our lives and thus everything that our hearts desires can be fulfilled by what God wants in our life. May the name of the Lord be ever praised and may God always give us this gift to go forth and sow the seeds and receive the fruits of God's love in our life. Live Jesus. We all don't have the same privileges. Maybe some of us will only have 37 years of life to live. Maybe some of us will not have the blessing of having a dad around. Every one of us could be having certain deprivations. But in Christ, we can do all things. We can make our life a blessing. Friends, let us adore Jesus. Let us draw our strength. Let us draw love for our heart from Him whose heart beats for love of us. And that heart is in the Eucharist. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of my life, spend with you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created. All full of sin became poor. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Down. Here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Lord, it is all together wonderful to be in your presence. It is all together wonderful to look at your face, to be here in your presence to begin this day 
in your presence oh god worshiping you adoring you that's how i want to begin my day lord i worship you i adore you i surrender this day at your feet to live out this day according to your will oh god i worship you and here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god Jesus. you're all together Praise lord, you, lord Jesus. thank you all together i worship you lord all together i adore you oh lord full to i surrender my life to you this morning jesus we praise you jesus thank you jesus we thank you lord hallelujah, hallelujah jesus hallelujah. i sing your praises at the beginning jesus, of this praise day you, lord. lord praise you hallelujah. jesus thank you lord hallelujah jesus praise, jesus praise you jesus praise you lord jesus thank you lord let us begin this day claiming the promise of the lord promise given to us in psalm 59 verses 17 and 18 let me read this promise to you psalm 59 verses 17 and 18 i shall sing of your strength extol your love in the morning for you, you are my fortress my refuge in time of trouble my strength your praise i will sing you god are my fortress my loving god a great promise the lord gives us this morning the lord is our strength he is our refuge he is our fortress there are two images used here the lord is our refuge the lord is our fortress refuge and fortress in fact both these images mean the same thing but a little difference both these inspire a lot of confidence in our hearts the lord is our strength the lord is our fortress and therefore i shall not fear and there's a promise the lord is giving us today i shall sing of your strength we shall begin this day singing of our strength our protection is not a mere person a mere security with pistols or bombs no no our confidence is the strength of yahweh my god my god the creator of the universe he is my fortress he is my refuge in time of trouble my strength and your praise i will sing my god my fortress my loving god let us claim this promise and feel that great confidence in our hearts in the beginning of this day so that we will never fear spiritual enemies or whatever type of enemy who could come to attack us whatever type of challenges that might that might pass before us we shall not we shall not fear god is there for us as a refuge as a fortress let's sing together claiming that protection claiming that shelter the refuge that confidence in the lord in the beginning of this day 
me, whoever might come to frighten me, whatever temptations might come my way, I will not be afraid. I will face it all. I will face them all with confidence because you are there by my side. You are my refuge. You are my refuge. And you are my fortress You are my friend in need You are my God And I will worship you with all of my heart I will seek your face all through my life And I will serve you, Lord, with all that I am Here I am And here I am Here I am in your presence this morning. I want to live out this day in your presence, feeling the beauty, the joy, the peace, the love of your presence. I do not want to go out of your presence at any moment of my day. I want to feel your refuge and shelter of your presence at every moment. Lord, give me your blessing. Let me take your blessing that I may be a blessing to everyone. Everyone who sees me, everyone I talk to, everyone I deal with shall find me a blessing, a joyous presence, a happy presence. When I speak to them, when I deal with them, they shall touch your presence in what I say, in what I do. Lord, I worship you. I adore you. Lord, give me your blessing. I will worship you with all that I am. And I will see your face all through my life and I will serve you Lord with all that I am here I am and I will worship you with all of my heart and I will seek 
your face all through my life and I will serve you Lord with all that I am here I am here I am dear friends you have been chosen by God. God breathed His life into you. He has blessed you. He has blessed you with talents. He has blessed you with His heart. Dear friends, may you value the talents of your heart. May you be a loving parent today, a loving child, a loving sibling, a loving spouse, and may you spread the sunshine of God's goodness, wherever you reach out today. God bless you and have a very beautiful, brilliant, blessed day with Jesus. The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231010 14 HDFC Bank Chalakudi branch IFSC code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to divine retreat center at gmail.com